Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy SR7 and welcome back. Today we're going to be reviewing out of position Federico Chiesa. So as you can see, the SPC has been completed and here he comes about to work out the Italian Prince, a fantastic card design. This is such a beautiful looking card. 87 right wing from Juventus, Federico Chiesa, 93 pace, 85 shooting, 81 passing, 89 dribbling and 77 physical. Fantastic looking card. He looks phenomenal. But anyway, let's just get into um, let's get into the card stats. Have a look at his key components of the card. Then we can get to the gameplay and we can see how he plays. So as you can see, he is five foot nine, high medium work rates, right footed. He does have four star skills and four star weak foot. He's a right winger by trade, but he can play right mid and cam as well. Looking at his stats, he's got 93 pace with 93 acceleration and sprint speed. He's got 85 shooting with 86 positioning, 88 shot power and 87 long shots. He's got 81 passing with 83 short passing and 82 curve. 89 dribbling, one of the better stats in the card with 91 agility, 89 reactions and 90 dribbling. He's got 77 physical as well with 89 stamina and 74 strength. Those are the key stats on this card. Let's get into the gameplay, let's see how he plays, and I will give you my thoughts on the card at the end of the video. So into the first clip here, we do get the ball with Haaland, he rolls it wide behind Nedved. Nedved gets into the ball, he plays a nice 1-2 there, through on goal, he squares it to Chiesa and we do get a tap in there instantly in the first game. First goal with Chiesa. Up next, we get into the ball here in midfield, some nice dribbling here before playing the ball down to Chiesa. Keita takes one touch, goes for the outside foot shot, and he hammers that into the top corner, past the keeper there. Fantastic finish. Up again here with Chiesa, some great strength there to hold off the defender, plays a beautiful pass into Haaland, who does finish past the keeper with a plumb. Great play all round. Next up here, we do get the ball Nedved again. We play this ball uh, down to Chiesa again. Chiesa lets it run across him. He goes for the shot, puts it past the keeper there, and does score to bring a goal back. Up next here, we do get the ball with Nedved again, back to Chiesa, he rolls it into Haaland and he does tap that in to the back of the net as an equalizer. Fantastic all-round play. Chiesa gets into the ball here, some nice skill there to get past the defender. Once again, outside foot shot, beats the keeper, all ends up. Chiesa uh, tries to get into the ball here from Nedved's pass. Nedved wins it back, plays it down to Chiesa, we go for the shot there and we do win this game late on in the 80th minute. Great goal there. Up next here with Keita, we send in this cross, beautiful cross there. Casemiro gets his head onto the ball and we don't, um, well, the keeper doesn't save it, so we do score there and get a beautiful assist. Up next on the ball here with Erling Haaland, he plays it back to Keita and we hammer that ball into the near post there. Fantastic strike from Keita before coming right back down again here, receiving the ball again. Some nice skill there. We go for the power shot and he hammers that across the keeper. He struck that like an absolute thunderbolt, hits this, the post and flies into the back of the net there. Fantastic finish. There we see a nice bit of dribbling from Chiesa, quick feet there to beat the defender and he does tuck it away. Before coming back down again here with Chiesa, plays a beautiful ball over the top to Haaland. Haaland brings it down, goes for the shot, keeper does save it but Nedved is on hand to tap in the header. Uh, up next here we get into the ball with Nedved, played down to Chiesa, we roll it into Haaland and he taps it in for another Chiesa assist. Here we get onto the ball uh, with in defence, we do win it back there, we play it down, uh, some nice play, interlinking play in the midfield. We get this ball down to Chiesa, a nice little roll there to get past the defender and he does hammer that past the keeper to find the back of the net. Onto the ball again here, Casemiro plays the ball down to Chiesa, Chiesa rolls it into Haaland and Haaland goes for the shot there, hammers it into the top corner and that pretty much kills that game off. Next up here, we get the ball Chiesa again, chips it over to Haaland, that was a beautiful pass and Haaland makes no mistake before burying it into the back of the net. Onto the ball here in defence, we play it down to Nedved, Nedved running through on goal, making up some decent ground there before playing it to Haaland. Haaland squares it to Chiesa and Chiesa with a nice easy tap in there to extend our lead. Keeper makes a mistake here and we do win the ball back. The ball bounces around, it finds its way to Chiesa, we go for the power shot there across the keeper 
he hits those so hard, absolute arrows, no chance for the keeper whatsoever. Another keeper error there, which leads to another Keita chance. Again, we go for the power shot, and once again, he throws it low and hard past the goalkeeper there. A fantastic goal. Onto the ball here again. We do win it back in midfield. We play it up to Haaland. Haaland rolls it across to Nakata. We get it with Keita. We go for the power shot again, and he absolutely destroys the crossbar there. Hammers the ball into the goals, in off the crossbar. Fantastic finish there and a great goal. Some good dribbling there once again before tucking the ball away into the near post. One more uh, clip here with Chiesa. We get into the ball here. Some nice play between Nedved and Chiesa. We roll the ball in here. Uh, Chiesa gets into the ball and he hammers it past the keeper to make it 2-0. Uh, up next again here, we win the ball again in defence. We play it down to Chuameni. He plays the ball into Chiesa, that was a beautiful looking pass. We go for the ball across to Nedved and Nedved tucks this chance away with a plum. Here we get onto the ball again, some great defensive play there and we do win it back. We play this ball over to Chiesa, Chiesa does win it back from the defender here and we go for the outside foot shot, that is a beautiful finish again on the first time volley and we do score there with a plum. Up next here. Chiesa gets into the ball, we go for the driven shot and once again another spectacular power shot there which the keeper cannot deal with. Bernardo on the ball here, we played across to Chiesa, that was a beautiful looking pass. One touch, we swing a beautiful cross to Haaland, he brings it on the chest, hits it on the volley, ball doesn't touch the ground and we do find ourselves 1-0 in the lead. Onto the ball here with Haaland, we played back down to Chiesa. Good play there, we do win a penalty which we go ahead and take with Nedved and we do score it by the way, I didn't show the penalty. But we come back down again here with uh, Nedved to Chiesa, Chiesa plays the ball out wide to Quadrado, Quadrado plays it back to Chiesa, we go for the outside foot and a carbon copy of the other goals as he tucks that away into the back of the net. So as you can see, we do end this review with 10 games, 19 goals and 8 assists. That should pretty much highlight how fantastic this card is, how insanely good in game he is and how pretty much how good value he is as well. I mean that should show you all you need to know. But nonetheless I will still run through each stat for you and then give you an overall thoughts on the card at the end. So Pace, honestly this card is rapid. He's one of the fastest players that have used this FIFA. He is so, so quick. When he gets through on goal, nobody's catching him, no one's getting near him. He is so fast, it's unbelievable. His shooting, honestly, you saw the catalog of goals that I scored in this review. His shooting is on another level. It is so, so good. You give him a half chance, you give him a full chance, outside the box, inside the box, left foot, right foot, finesse shot, power shot, outside foot shot, it doesn't matter. You unleash a shot from anywhere with this card and he has a good chance of putting it away. His shooting is just so, so perfect. His finishing is fantastic. His long range shots are just out of this world. His power shots are crazy good and his, his outside foot shots are just something else. Honestly, his shooting in general is just on another level. It is so good. Passing, another really good stat on this card. His passing is crazy good as well. I mean, if his teammates make any runs and you spot the run, play the pass, Kesa will find them. His passing is really good. His crossing as well, fantastic. He puts it on a plate for Haaland all the time or for whoever the striker is. I mean, all round, a really creative player, really good passing. Dribbling, another key stat on this card because as you did see, he scored a lot of goals where he just did a little dribble with left stick uh, beforehand where he beats the defender, sends himself through on goal and then scores. So that just highlights and emphasizes how good his dribbling is because honestly his dribbling is fantastic. His left stick is so good, he's got really good close control, he's so smooth, he's so silky on the ball. You know, he can do a, do a skill move here and there, he can do a body feint here and there, he beats his man really easily. And he tucks them all away. You know, no problem there. Physical, that could be something that you might be concerned about. Honestly, he's not weak at all. He's a really strong player in game. He can hold his own. He doesn't get pushed off the ball. He doesn't get bullied either. Really, really, really good card. So, you know, pretty strong in game as well. No issues there whatsoever. All in all, what do I think of this card? Honestly, one word to sum up this card. Incredible. He is so, so good, so talented. He's one of the best cards that I've used as FIFA. He is so, 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 
so incredibly good, 100% worth it. Honestly, he is fantastic. By far the best option in Serie A for the wings and one of the best wingers in the game in general. He is just out of this world. This card is on another level. He is so good. So do I give him the stamp of approval? 100% yes I do. I cannot recommend him enough. Honestly, price point as well, fantastic. He's not expensive, he's actually really cheap. And for what he offers, what he brings to the table and how much he can provide for your team, honestly, he ends up being such a huge bargain. He will pay those coins back 10 times, 20 times, 30 times over and he will do so so quickly. That is how good he is. That is how well priced I think he is. And in, in fact, that is how much of a bargain I think he is. So like I said, 100%, I give him the stamp of approval. If you want to get him for your team, complete this SBC as fast as you can, plus him into your team and watch him take your team to the next level, take your gameplay to the next level and just take your overall enjoyment of the game to the next level. So what would I give this card as a rating? Honestly, I would give him a 9.6 out of 10. That is how good I think he is. I think that might be the highest, if not one of the highest ratings that I've given this FIFA which should highlight what I think of this card. It should emphasize how good I think this card is. And honestly, that should tell you all you need to know about this card. He is so, so, so good. He is fantastic. He's a phenomenal player in game. One of the best that I've used and his rating is 100% justified. He definitely deserves it. And this is a card that I cannot recommend enough. It's a card that you will not go wrong with. And it's a card that will just take you to the next level. Okay, so anyway guys, that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, smash that thumbs up button, leave a like on this video, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet done so already, and until next time guys, peace.